Our main lead male character of this movie falls in love with a beautiful girl in Japan during his one of the business trip. Later on, he can't control his feelings for her and pays visits her time and often. Will he be able to marry her? Watch this video till end to know how far will he go for his love. Now, without wasting your time let's get started. This movie begins with our male lead narrating observations of an unidentified Asian woman bathing in a hot spring. Then stating that his story begins earlier when he returned back to his hometown from army. Hervé is a military personnel. When he comes home, he gets fascinated by a beautiful girl named Helene. They both fell in love with each other. Hervé wants to stay close to Helene but his father, the mayor of the town wants to send him on a war. A local businessman Baldabia shows silk cloth to his father and tells him, he wants to open a factory. He wants complete support from Hervé's father and he also accepts it. Meanwhile Hervé goes to serve in the war this time but when he returns from there, Baldabia has already flourishes his factory to the different parts of the nation. Also, Hervé asks Helen to marry him which she accepted. Meanwhile, Baldabia meets with Hervé and offers him a job to collect the silkworm from Africa. But Hervé tells him, he has to go on a war after some days but Baldabia convinces Hervé's father to let Hervé leave the army and marry Helene. Hervé is all set to work for Baldabia now. Whereas Helene doesn't like it when he tells her, he has to go to Africa but it's far better than serving in the army, that's why she gives him a permission. He travels to Egypt and get back from there with a silkworm eggs. After returning back, Helene tells him she wants a baby so the couple gets intimate. In the other hand, the eggs which are purchased from Egypt is found dead. Baldabia assumes that the similar disease has spread to Africa also. Then he orders Hervé to go to Japan to get the silkworm eggs. This is because the Japanese protect the silkworm with their own special techniques. But they don't have map to reach there and it's dangerous to go without knowing the track. Meanwhile Baldabia chats with Hervé's father and discuss everything with him. Likewise, Hervé shares everything to his wife and at first, she hesitates but ultimately she gives him permission. The journey takes months across the thousands of miles of Europe and Asia. He meets with an agent in Japan but Hervé finds out that the eggs are fake, that's why he also gives them a fake gold. Later that day, Hervé goes to meet with another agent and there he encounters with a pretty young Japanese lady. He becomes surprised after seeing her timeless beauty. At the meantime, the Japanese agent arrives there and asks queries about his actual identity. Hervé tells him that he is a merchant. The agent also asks him about the fake golds to which he replies the eggs were also fake. After having discussion for a while, they become friends. Hervé returns home with an ample supply of eggs. Also, his compensation from Baldabia makes him rich and he purchases a large house and a garden space for Helene. She was quite happy seeing their new house and a huge garden. They are now ready to start their new life but Helene isn't able to be pregnant. Her one of the friend has a son and she wants to offer her a work in the house. As a matter of fact, the house is too big for two of them and Helene wants to spend time with the child. Actually she is a teacher so she is fond of kids. One day, Baldabia pays visit to Hervé and tells him to again go on a business trip to Japan. He also accepts his offer as he is eagerly willing to see that pretty Japanese girl. After reaching there, he knows that the agent is out of town. That's why he decides to look out for that very girl in his spare time. He tries to search her with the help of a child but he couldn't. When the Japanese agent arrives, they make a deal for their business. Later at night when Hervé is bathing, that very girl comes there and gives a note to him and leaves from there. After some time, all of the merchant are having discussion about the war kinda situation which is going on in Japan. One of the Dutch merchant advise Hervé to finish the trade and return back to home country as soon as possible. But Hervey and that girl are still looking at each other. The Japanese agent thinks that Hervey may escape from Japan without completing the deal that's why he plans to stop him with the help of pretty girl. 
The Japanese girl handed him another girl and she stays outside. Meanwhile Hervé has sex with another girl handed to him by her. Next morning, he begins to look out for her realizing his mistake. He sees her all naked in the lake. After that day, she is completely lost from the sight of him. Also, Hervé delays his departure by two days in the failed hope of seeing the girl again. Back home, he seems disturbed and wants to share everything to his wife but he couldn't. Helen isn't able to give birth to any child till now so she seems worried and sad too. At the very time he tells her about the girl. Actually that girl was Chinese not the Japanese. Hearing this from Hervé, Helene suspects something fishy and thinks he starts to have feelings for that unknown girl. Hervé then goes to meet Baldavia because he desperately wants to read the note which was given by her in Japan. Baldavia doesn't understand the language so he suggests him to go on a Japanese brothel and meet Madame Blanche. After reaching there, she reads the note for him, come back or I shall die. Here, he knows that the girl also loves him but that Madame suggests him to forget about the girl as he is already a married man. In the other hand, Baldabia intends Hervé to send him in China since Japan is no longer safe because of the war but Hervé insists on going Japan. He wants to see that girl again as he got obsessed. Hervé's father is not willing to send his son to Japan which is war-prone zone but again Baldabia convinces him. In the other hand, Helene meets with Baldabia to ask a favor to stop Hervé from going to Japan but he tells her, nothing can stop him from going there because he is strongly determined. When Hervé arrives Japan, the war has broken out and the village is abandoned. He finds a child there and he asks for the location of the Japanese silk agent. The child draws a map to show his location but he takes that kid with him. The kid shows him the Japanese agent from a distance and so he gives some money to that kid along with his binoculars. He has sent his note in his binoculars to the girl. After some time he meets up with the Japanese agent but he refused to give any help to him as there is war going on everywhere, he also refuses to show that girl. In addition, he advised him to leave Japan. Next morning, he sees that the little kid has been hanged by the Japanese agent. This is all because he knew about the note which is being sent by Hervé to the girl. Actually that girl is girlfriend of that Japanese agent. He warns him to leave Japan as soon as possible. He doesn't get any eggs from that agent so he buys silkworm eggs from another merchant. But his delays results in eggs hatching and all the worms dying before reaching to his home country. Hervé now becomes sad and depressed and their businesses got ruined. One day, Baldabia pays visit to him and asks him to share everything which was happened to him while he was in Japan. But he rejects to answer any of his queries. He tells him only he is responsible for their business loss because he wasn't able to get silkworm eggs on time. Months later, Hervé receives a long letter from the girl. He again takes that letter to Madame Blanche for translation. The letter is a deeply moving declaration of love asking him to be happy in his life, as they will never be together again. Again after reading that note, Madame Blanche advises him to stay away from that girl. After some time, Japan and France sign a trade treaty and that's why they can do import and export easily. Hervé doesn't go to meet that girl ever after. Also, many years passed but Helene wasn't able to be a mother. She takes his friend's son as her own. They accept the reality of life and they are completely okay with it. But their happiness doesn't last long. After few years, Helene gets sick. A lot of doctors and expertise try to cure her but they couldn't. She tells her friend's son to look after Hervé after her death. Helene and Hervé becomes emotional talking to each other at the last moment. After her death, Hervé gives a tribute of small blue flowers on her grave. He seeks out for Madame Blanche once more, believing her to have written the letter. But she reveals that Helene had written the letter and asked Madame Blanche to translate it. Helene knew that Hervé was in love with the Japanese women. She also scolds him, because he has been running to find a love in random stranger a foreign country without not seeing true love who was near him all the time as his wife. 
Hervé realizes that it was Helene who was his true love after all. Here, it is revealed that Hervé is narrating his life story to the son of a friend, closest thing to a child that Hervé and Helene have had through the years. He realizes his mistake that he should have given more time to Helene instead of thinking about that girl from Japan. This movie is trying to teach us an important lessons about the importance of moment and time. Sometimes we underestimate the diamonds we have, seeing golds in others' hand. This was the story of Movie Silk. If you liked it and would like to see more videos like this, show some support to our YouTube channel. Take care.